Good evening and welcome. You're watching Breaking Views, the only show where we get you all the views so that you get the complete picture. And today, trust me, you want to know the complete picture. We also are going to be discussing whether the telltale signs of fissures in the Maharashtra Alliance and a dispute within the Shiv Sena, the implosion in the Shiv Sena, were warning signs that were ignored. And before we discuss all of this, this, this Sena split, the Maharashtra Mahabharat, and whether the warning signs were ignored, we have to look at the basics to understand what has happened. And the best way to understand this is with the help of numbers. So let's bring to you on screen right now, the Maharashtra math. What is this math? So those are the numbers on your screen right now. This is up until this morning. The very happy picture for the Maharashtra Vikas Aghadi, where the Shiv Sena had 56. Actually, their present strength, uh, strength is 55 because one MLA uh, is no more. NCP is at 53, Congress at 44, BJP at 106, Samajwadi Party at 2 and others at 27. Of these 27, some support the Aghadi, some support the BJP. The majority mark is 145. The uh, Aghadi had uh, 150 plus. Easy. Sorted. But that was before. What happened this morning was that Eknath Shinde moved with his supporters in the Shiv Sena to a resort in Surat. Now, where does that leave the equation on your screen right now? Shiv Sena is at 35. The Sena MLAs with Shinde are at 21. They've not resigned, by the way. NCP at 53, Congress at 44, BJP at 106, others at 26 because one is with Shinde. So the majority mark, as of this moment, still at 145. But the Shinde camp makes Shiv Sena poorer by 21. Now, obviously, as we go along, we'll explain how they alone at 21 can't really make a lot of difference but have definitely embarrassed the party. Let's now talk about the various possibilities. What can happen because of this change scenario? Possibility number one, Eknath Shinde engineers a split in the Sena and forms a splinter group and allies with the BJP. The possibility of this is difficult, but possible. Now, uh, we will explain with the help of numbers as we go along why it is very, very, very difficult. But if push comes to shove, with a lot of muscle power, with, with perhaps even other MLAs of the Shiv Sena not being happy with Uddhav Thakre or echoing the sentiment of Shinde, it is not entirely impossible. It's very difficult though, as of this moment. We'll explain in a bit. Possibility number two, Uddhav Thakre reaches out to rebel MLAs and convinces them to return. The possibility of this is highly likely. And he has already done that. He has sent an emissary to Surat. He has spoken to Eknath Shinde also and apparently on the phone Mr. Shinde said you please stick to the Hindutva ideology, align with the BJP and then we'll all live happily ever after. Now whether that's going to happen one does not know because if that happens that's a totally different story altogether. It's going to be huge. Third possibility, BJP welcomes the rebels from all parties. Whether it is Congress, remember, the cross-voting for the MLC polls happened from the Congress also. Not just 12 from the Shiv Sena, 3 from the Congress also. They welcome all the rebels from all parties and they follow a Madhya Pradesh model. Remember what happened in Madhya Pradesh where Jyoti Raditya Sindhya, he joined the BJP and all his supporters resigned from the Congress, then appeared for a re-election, they joined the BJP then they were bipoles, they won all the by-elections and then became BJP MLAs. Can that model happen? Well, the possibility is difficult as of this moment, but again, it is possible. It's not entirely impossible. Now let's tell you, the Shinde versus Uddhav, who's the real Shiv Sena? You see, Mr. Shinde, let's not mistake him for some, from, for some greenhorn, someone who's a, a youngster, young Turk who doesn't know stuff. He knows his onions. Pretty famous, rags to riches story. Was an auto rickshaw driver, moved right up to that position. Virtual number two in the Shiv Sena. But who is the real Shiv Sena? You see, Mr. Shinde 
he claims the support of 22 MLAs. This figure is officially being disputed by the Shiv Sena, but he claims the support of 22 MLAs. Now, Uddhav Sena is as of now left with 35 MLAs. Now, to engineer a defection in the Sena, the anti-defection law says that two-thirds of MLAs must split. How much is the two-thirds of Shiv Sena's 56? It is 37. Shinde claims the support of 21. Sena MLAs, as of this moment, with Shinde, he claims, are 21. So this means that that anti-defection mark is 37. He has the support of 21. Shinde is short of 16, 1, 6 MLAs, which he needs to split the party. If he gets these 16, he can break away, call himself the Shiv Sena, join or merge with the BJP, form his own version of the Shiv Sena, all sorts of things he can do. But he is short of 16 MLAs. And that's where the story gets very, very tricky. What exactly is going to happen? All sorts of possibilities are being discussed. Before we uh, go any further, Sohit Mishra is tracking all the latest details. Sohit, long day for you. Long day yesterday also. It was a long day for the Rajya Sabha elections also. And you have been tracking all of it. So, it, my question to you is, now that Sharad Pawar, who was conspicuous by his absence in the first half, is believed to be back, how much of difference can that make? And how, how damaging is the situation really, as far as the Shiv Sena is concerned? Uh, well, speaking of Sharad Pawar first, uh, yes, uh, Sharad Pawar has reached Mumbai. In fact, he has reached Silver Oak Sanket at his own residence where he is meeting several of the NCP leaders. He is yet to reach at the Varsha Banglo where he is supposed to meet with Chief Minister Uddhav Thakre. In fact, in the morning he said that he might go and meet uh, Chief Minister if time prevails. So, as of now, uh, Sharad Pawar is calling this as the internal matter of Shiv Sena. He is saying that it has nothing to do with NCP or Congress, but it is the internal matter of Shiv Sena. The situation is really bad if we talk about Shiv Sena. Uh, Uddhav Thakre, apart from being Chief Minister of Maharashtra, is also the President of Shiv Sena. But despite that, he does not have the power or the numbers of MLAs that is required with him. That's the reason since morning, while he has been meeting a level, a serial, a level of uh, several MLAs from his party, there has been not a single picture that has been kept forward. In fact, his own personal PA, Milin Narvekar, went to Surat. And Milin Narvekar is very close to Uddhav Thakre. Whatever Uddhav Thakre does, Milin Narvekar knows about it. Uh, in fact, there are several MLAs of Shiv Sena who put posters of Milin Narvekar during his birthday. You can understand how important he is, despite he is just a PA of Uddhav Thakre. He went to meet uh, Ekna Shinde. They had a phone, uh, telephone conversation between uh, Uddhav Thakre and Ekna Shinde. But as of now, the situation is very bad. Now, let me tell you why is it bad or why things are going to be bad. The, why things uh, will not repeat like what happened in 2019, despite Sharad Pawar being over here. Ekna Shinde I have been, uh, uh, is in politics when he was just a corporator. In fact, before even being a corporator, he used to do work in the name of uh, Shiv Sena in Thane. Later he became a corporator, later he became an MLA, he is a four-time MLA. In fact, in 2014, when Shiv Sena and BJP contested elections separately and in 2014, for uh, some time, uh, Shiv Sena was in uh, opposition, he was the leader of opposition. So he has been that person who has been the uh, go-to person for Shiv Sena. But things changed in 2019 when Aditya Thakre came into the picture. Now, uh, Uddhav Thakre became the chief minister. He was never into the picture. He was never into active politics. He became the chief minister. Aditya Thakre was given several responsibilities. Now, uh, there are also uh, things that were done to sideline Uddhav uh, uh, Ekna Chinde. Anil Parab was brought into the picture. Pratap Sanayak from Thane, he is also a Shiv Sena MLA. They tried to bring Pratap Sanayak into the picture so that there is competition for Ekna Shinde. That is where Ekna Shinde felt very much insult, insulted. He has very good relations across the parties, be it BJP, be it NCP, be it the uh, Congress. That is why you will see uh, no one protesting or saying things against him. So as of now, situation is bad. In 2019, what happened, Sanket, is that the NCP leaders uh, who were uh, with Ajit Pawar, they were across several hotels in Maharashtra. 
now shiv sena has a very good uh, uh, contacts their worker union in maharashtra is very active and in, that's the reason why those mlas were brought to uh, the party leaders and in fact eknath shinde himself was uh, taking care that all these ministers should come back and uh, be in the alliance of mahavikas aghadi but in 2022 eknath shinde is not in maharashtra he is in surat which comes in gujarat so shiv sena has no power over there in fact the police security has been provided outside the hotel no one can go inside the hotel uh, bjp leader as well as mla is inside the hotel as well he also met ekna shinde twice milin narveka went over there um, and ekna shinde has a lot of support among the mlas so yes he has a lot of support in so fact so it's, it's not i, I think right that's a very significant uh, so it is making a very significant point that it is not it is not if the if the shiv sena turns around and says that he is some small time sprinter group and he is trying to be over ambitions that's not the truth eknath shinde is a very important resource of the shiv sena and holds a considerable amount of clout but is that clout more than the thakre family that is going to be put to test as we go along uh, saurabh shukla thank you very much sohit saurabh shukla is also with us and he's tracking the story from surat where these mlas are saurabh any hold on number 1 a confirmation on the number of mlas inside how many of them are from the bj uh, from the shiv sena how many from uh, uh, how many are independents because you know officially different versions are being given that only 12 have moved with eknath shinde he claims 21 what are you learning and what's the latest absolutely sanket uh, before we go further i'll just want to show you the picture outside uh, the lee meridian hotel that uh, Ignat Shinde has got the full protection of Gujarat police. That that's what Sohit was indicating. This picture shows you everything. We are almost 50 meters away from the hotel, but no one is allowed to go inside. There are I, there, there are hotel staff and and Gujarat police officers who are standing here. In fact, they are checking the ID cards of uh, the people who are working in Lee Meridian as well. Number two, now you have asked me about the numbers. Nobody knows how many MLAs are inside uh, uh, this uh, this uh, this hotel uh, in Surat. Ignat Shinde. is there for sure along with uh, him more than 15 mlas that is the speculation because uh, they all have come early in the morning today when there there was no media presence at all so we don't know what are the numbers exactly because as in the afternoon also there were three mlas which kind of rescued or forcefully been brought to uh, varsha varsha bungalow of udav thakre so there are so according to eknath shinde the, he has support of more than 35 mlas but how many mlas are there inside in this hotel we don't know uh, as far as the reports are concerned the, according to the sources we have learned that he has eknath shinde has support of one independent mla now number 2 what is the next step of what can be the next step of eknath shinde sanke number 1 eknath shinde is waiting uh, for a message from the bjp stop brass sanjay kute uh, an mla from uh, i mla from bjp very close to uh, very close to devendra fadnavis he is inside uh, uh, the hotel the meridian and bjp uh, it is said that bjp is communicating through sanjay kute to eknath shinde so he is waiting for the message and definitely bjp want to be double sure that eknath shinde has the number or not will he be able to break the party or not because eknath shinde has said that he is the soldier of bala saab thakre shiv sena uh, he can never compromise with the with that ideology of hindutva for uh, the power and for the gaddi of Pol- gaddi of maharashtra so clearly that indicates that eknath shinde is a very powerful uh, uh, politician very powerful shiv sena leader as you and sohit were talking he has the support of the mlas in fact uh, sohit was also telling that uh, there was no protest in thane from where the eknath shinde comes from the eknath shinde is very powerful uh, leader so as if now uh, this night today's night is going to be very crucial because uh, uh, there is speculation that amit shah and devid devendra fadnavis can come to ahmedabad uh, uh, tomorrow or day after then eknath shinde along with the mlas will go and meet them then they will uh, uh, this did uh, disclose and uh, uh, announce their future course of action and on the other hand what udhav thakre is going to do because shrad pawar has clearly said that is shiv sena's internal uh, internal politics we have our numbers congress is saying that we that the mlas of congress they are reunited so now is ball is in the court of uh, udhav thakre as well because ikna shinde has clearly said uh, uh, sanket that uh, uh, udhav thakre should think 
to form government with BJP again. So that's what Ekna Shinde's proposal to to Udav Thakre via Milan Narvekar, who was here uh, to negotiate between Udav Thakre and uh, uh, Ekna Shinde, where and Ekna Shinde has clarified that he's not going to go back to Shiv Sena in the present scenario where Shiv Sena is part of Maharashtra Vikas Aghadi. So yeah, uh, I mean, in fact, he says join the BJP and I'll be happy to I'll be happy to come back. It's a weird uh, sort of a condition that he has Absolutely. kept by. That, yeah. Absolutely, very important Sanket, uh, but we don't know about uh, the Maharashtra politics also. We know what happened in 2019. Uh, Ajit Pawar also was also the chief whip of uh, uh, NCP. He joined hand with BJP and later he was removed. Egna Shinde is also the, was also the chief whip. He is also re being removed very after he had come to Gujarat, but the situation is difficult. Ajit Pawar is that time, he was in Maharashtra, but Egna Shinde is in Gujarat under full protection of uh, Gujarat police. No one can come inside and that muscle power game which Shiv Sena plays in Maharashtra cannot be played here in Gujarat, which is a very important uh, uh, point because when in the afternoon, uh, uh, Narvekar and uh, uh, Narvekar and uh, uh, Ravind Fatak came, they were not allowed to go inside. So they had to wait for an, at least an hour and then uh, when Ekna Shinde confirmed, then they reached inside around 4.14. So they've been wait, they had to wait for one and a half hour after the approval of Ekna Shinde, then they were allowed to go inside and then they uh, had meeting for almost two hours. So police also, the, the police and administration also plays a very important role in these oh, kind yeah. of conditions. We have, we have always, so that is why we have seen that. has chosen. We've seen that in yes, Rajasthan, absolutely. Gujarat, yeah, that, Madhya that Pradesh. Why, Raipur, I mean resort politics, Everywhere. hotel politics, police power, muscle power, uh, cordoning off, bade bandi as it is called in Jaipur. I mean all of it is happening. Thank you very much Saurabh for getting us all the latest. Uh, in fact, let's quickly put on those pictures also on screen of uh, Eknath Shinde, Aditya Uddhav Thakre as well as Sanjay Raut when they went to Ayodhya. Let's try to pull up. We just played those pictures. The reason why I want to show these pictures is because this was just a week ago. We've just played them out. We'll put them on screen right now. Look at this. Sanjay Raut, Aditya Thakre and Eknath Shinde uh, wearing that Sita Rami shawl and they are in Ayodhya. So this was a very happy picture of Mr. Shinde, Thakre and Raut together. Suddenly today, cut to today, where Eknath Shinde is unhappy, said to be unhappy with Aditya Thakre's elevation, that he is unhappy with the ideological position that the Shiv Sena has taken, the fact that they are not uh, Hindutva enough. How has this happened? Also, a warning sign for the Shiv Sena. They may now say, they may now say, that see, we are as Hindutva, we don't need to take certificates on Hindutva from the BJP. But is the Shiv Sena battling this perception crisis from within? That they are moving or drifting away from their, Shiv, from their Hindutva plank. And if push comes to shove, and these weird things have happened in Maharashtra politics, where a Congress enters into an alliance with the Shiv Sena, can we have a situation where Uddhav Thakre eventually agrees with an Eknath Shinde that fine, let's go back to the BJP. In any case, they were natural alliance partners. In politics, never say never. Let's now listen in to this interview of former finance minister in the BJP government, Mr. Sudhir Mungantivar. I spoke to him just a short while ago. All right, joining us right now is Mr. Sudhir Mungantivar. He is the former finance minister uh, uh, in the BJP government uh, when the BJP was in power, senior leader of the Bharatiya Janata Party. Uh, Sudhir ji, thank you very much for your time. First of all, my first question to you is, uh, many senior leaders of the Maharashtra Vikas Aghadi of the Congress Shiv Sena are saying that this crisis has been engineered in New Delhi. It has been planned in New Delhi by the BJP's political masters. How would you respond? It's like Eknath Rao Chinde Ji is not a common leader or a common leader of the Shiva Sena. The leader of the Shiva Sena was saying that Sri Sanjay Raut Sri Sanjay Raut Raja Sava Sadashya said that our leader of the Shiva Sena is our leader of the Shiva Sena. This is a tiger. So, you 
ये समझ जाइए कि कोई भी पार्टी ऐसा इंजीनियरिंग नहीं कर सकती कोई प्लान नहीं बना सकती कि शिवसेना के विधायकों को हम तोड़े या उनको पार्टी छोड़ने पे मजबूर करें उनकी ही भाषा में शिवसेना ये तो टाइगरों की पार्टी है तो टाइगर को नियंत्रण करना डोमेस्टिक बनाना कंट्रोल करना ये तो होना नहीं है देखो इनमें अंतर कग है इनमें आपस में पटता नहीं है शिवसेना ने 24 अक्टूबर 2019 को जब सत्ता के लिए भारतीय जनता पार्टी के साथ अपनी दोस्ती को तोड़ दिया नाता तोड़ दिया मैत्री तोड़ दी और दो करोड़ तीस लाख अट्ठावन हजार पांच सौ पच्चीस मतदाताओं ने एक सौ इकसठ विधानसभाओं में हमें जनसेवा करने के लिए महाराष्ट्र की प्रगति उन्नति के लिए चुन कर दिया इन्होंने विश्वासघात किया बेमानी की खुर्ची के लिए इन्होंने अपने विचार को गाड़ दिया जो स्वर्गीय हिंदू हृदय सम्राट बाला साहब ठाकरे जी कहते थे जिस दिन कांग्रेस के साथ मुझे युति करनी पड़ेगी उस दिन मैं अपने दुकान को बंद कर दूंगा मैं शिवसेना को विसर्जित कर दूंगा मुझे समझ में नहीं आता कि स्वर्गीय हिंदू हृदय हिंदू हृदय सम्राट ठाकरे जी की शिवसेना को प्रतिनिधित्व अगर एक शिंदे जी कर रहे हैं तो गैर क्या है एक शिंदे जी कह रहे हैं कि स्वर्गीय हिंदू हृदय सम्राट बाला ठाकरे जी के विचारों पर मुझे चलना है नहीं नहीं मुझे लेकिन एक चीज समझ में नहीं आ रहा सुधीर जी कि ये एकदम से एहसास उनको क्यों हुआ और दूसरी चीज देखिए घूम फिर के एवरीथिंग बॉइल्स डाउन टू द मैथमेटिक्स गणित में सारी चीजें आके फंसती हैं अब अगर एकनाथ शिंदे अपने साथ 21 बाईस विधायक भी लाते हैं तो वो आपके किसी काम के नहीं है ना बिकॉज ही एज नॉट ही एज नॉट कॉज इनफ डिफेक्शन टू फॉर्म हिज ओन पोलिटिकल पार्टी उनको एंटी डिफेक्शन लॉ से हटने के लिए सैंतीस विधायकों की जरूरत है है उनके तो पास बाईस यही तो मैं आपसे कह रहा हूं कि ये कोई भाजपा का इंजीनियरिंग कैसे हो सकता है भाजपा का इंजीनियरिंग ऐसा हो सकेगा क्या कि एंटी डिफेक्शन गांव में कोई गड़बड़ हो सकती है और भाजपा इंजीनियरिंग कर, कर रही है वही तो आपको मैं बताना चाहता हूं कि ये कोई भाजपा का इंजीनियरिंग नहीं है ये अंतर है शिवसेना ने सत्ता के लिए जनता के साथ गद्दारी की जनता को धोखा दिया आज शिवसेना में एक नाराजी है कि कांग्रेस के साथ हम गए जो कांग्रेस स्वातंत्रवीर सावरकर जी के बारे में बहुत निम्न शब्दों का उपयोग करती है और स्वर्गीय हिंदू देव सम्राट बाला साहब ठाकरे ये ऐसे नेता थे कि जो रस्ते पे आके उस समय मनीशंकर अयर अयर के पुतला बना के उसको चप्पल से मारा था क्योंकि वो सावरकर जी के बारे में बड़े निम्न शब्दों का अपमान ये मनीशंकर अयर जी ने किया था तो वही कांग्रेस के साथ इनको जाना पड़ा ठीक है तो छगन भुजबल जी ने बाहा हिस्ट्री जो पास्ट में हो गया मैं आपसे ये जानना चाहता हूं कि वॉट इज द बीजेपी वॉट डू यू होप फॉर इन दिस क्राइसिस आप क्या सोच रहे हैं आप सरकार बनाना चाहते हैं देखो सरकार में तो ऑलरेडी हम देश में है भाई बीस नहीं मैं महाराष्ट्र की बात हो गई मैं महाराष्ट्र में भी जनता ने तो हमको चुन कर दिया था ना एक सौ इकसठ विधानसभा में हमको चुन के दिया था हमसे धोखा हुआ गद्दारी हुई मतदाताओं का अवमान हुआ जनादेश का अनादर हुआ मगर मैं आपसे यही बात स्पष्ट रूप से कहना चाहता हूं कि हम सत्ता के लिए कुछ भी नहीं कर रहे सत्ता के लिए हमने कोई विशेष कोशिश कभी नहीं की हाँ ये बात सही है अगर कोई पेशकश आती है उस समय अजीत दादा पवार ने पेशकश की कि हमारी सरकार बननी चाहिए हाँ उसको हमने उस समय मन में गुस्सा था शिवसेना के बारे में और हमने उस पेशकश को आगे बढ़ाने की कोशिश की हाँ उसमें हम आगे नहीं जा सके अभी हमारे पास इस बार आपको क्या कॉन्फिडेंस है कि इस बार आप आगे बढ़ जाएंगे हम वेट एंड वॉच कर रहे हैं हम आगे बढ़ने की कोई बात नहीं कर रहे उनके साथ हमने कोई अभी ऐसी चर्चा की नहीं है भारतीय जनता पार्टी के बारे में हाँ वो जब आएंगे वो क्या कहना चाहते हैं नहीं यही मैं सुधीर जी मैं आपसे पूछना चाह रहा हूं ये कॉन्फिडेंस आपको कहां से आ रहा है क्या ये जो क्रॉस वोटिंग हुई है इसको देखते हुए आपके अंदर ये कॉन्फिडेंस है कि अब बीजेपी सरकार बना सकती है कांग्रेस से क्रॉस वोटिंग हुई शिवसेना से सब क्रॉस क्रॉस वोटिंग का तो विषय नहीं कल मैंने टीवी के सामने जब चुनाव शुरू था तभी कहा था मुझे पूछा गया था कि आप पांचवा उम्मीदवार कौन से आधार पर खड़े कर रहे हैं हमने स्पष्ट कर दिया था कि पांचवा उम्मीदवार हमने इसलिए खड़ा किया था कि कुछ अपक्ष और महाविकास आघाड़ी के कुछ 
विधायकों ने यह पेशकश की कि महाविकास आघाड़ी का काम बहुत ही इस महाराष्ट्र के प्रगति में बाधा देने वाला है स्पीड ब्रेकर है यह सरकार निश्चित रूप से महाराष्ट्र के जनता को मतदाताओं को दीन दुर्बल शोषित पीड़ित किसानों को न्याय नहीं दे सकती इसलिए उन्होंने कहा कि आप पांचवा उम्मीदवार खड़ा करो हमने खड़ा किया और मैं उस सभी विधायकों का वो चाहे कांग्रेस के हो शिवसेना के हो अपक्ष के राष्ट्रवादी के उनको धन्यवाद दूंगा कि ये महाराष्ट्र की हित के लिए उन्होंने सदविवेक बुद्धि को जो हमारे संविधान में है कि ऐसे चुनाव में सदविवेक बुद्धि का उपयोग करे sure. उन्होंने किया गुप्त मतदान था गुप्त मतदान से हमारे 106 विधायक रहने के बाद में एक विधायक हमको उन्होंने वोट किया और हमारी जानकारी से और कई विधायक है जिन्होंने वोट so तो नहीं किया। योर कॉन्फिडेंस इज कमिंग फ्रॉम आपको ये लग रहा है कि अब सरकार भी बन जाएगी क्योंकि 134 लोग तो कर ही रहे हैं समर्थन देखो मैंने सरकार बनाने की कोई बात नहीं की मैंने सरकार बनाने के लिए भारतीय जनता पार्टी कोशिश कर रही है ऐसा मैंने कहा नहीं मैंने ये कहा कि विधायकों ने हमको पांचवा उम्मीदवार खड़ा करने के लिए कहा और देवेंद्र जी के नेतृत्व में चंद्रकांत दादाजी के नेतृत्व में हमने सबने मिलकर तय किया कि अगर ये आग्रह किया जा रहा है कि ये सरकार के खिलाफ जो असंतोष है ये असंतोष व्यक्त करने के लिए हमने अगर उम्मीदवार को खड़ा किया तो सरकार के खिलाफ असंतोष व्यक्त करने की लोगों को एक संधि मिल जाएगी और उसका हमने उपयोग किया हम सरकार बनाने के लिए अगर ऐसा करते तो विधान परिषद में चुनाव लड़ाने की आवश्यकता ही नहीं थी हम डायरेक्ट सरकार बनवा गए थे श्योर